I have a session right before, so I'm just finishing. Yeah. A I know your answer. <laughs> 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 I know your answer. So you see that we are entering into, as I was saying, that entering into a deeper phase of the sadhana or the practice. Sam has also joined. That is very good. So it's a deeper. The first, Now these five sutras has to be understood. Listen to it again and again. Contemplate. Send the email to me if you have any doubt or a query, or if you do, did not understand. You know, my master used to say that when there is a fire in the woods, in the forest, elephant simply enters into water. They do not take the water from the river to quench the fire in the woods. So his message is clear that every sadhana has one most important element. It is going within, entering into the water here means the mind must go within. You are hurt, go within. You are in anxiety, go within. First go within before you react. Just go with him. So when there used to be a snowstorm, I spent many weeks in the months with the master in the Himalayas at the height of 12,000 feet. So in those days, oh, there is to be a snowstorm. Come inside the cave. So we used to sit inside the cave. In the front of the cave, we had the fire. Now, because we are undergoing a serious session, so remember ASU. What is ASU? Arizona State University, so that you will remember all the time. So there are three ways the master explains what it means by practice. A means abhyasa, Sanskrit word. S means sadhana. And you means upaya. So when you remember ASU, so you should also recall in your mind, uh, abhyasa, sadhana, upaya. Abhyasa, the word abhyasa is used by Patanjali. Sadhana and the upaya is very, very common. Even in the Gita, in the different text, we use what? Sadhana. So first understand what exactly is sadhana. Sadhana means intellect understands what is desired and what is not desired. And then we drop what is not desired. Anxiety is desired. Duality is desired. Stress is desired. Then I gave a reference that whenever these thought enters into the mind, first thing I should become aware that they are not desired. Then only the meditation succeeds. Then only the awaken, awakening takes place. But if you start thinking constantly, of the anger, of the anxiety, anxiety management, anger management, stress management. We don't use this. We say, let us awaken to the peace, move inside first, discover the peace inside. Again, going to the master, how can I forget him? Who changed my <laughs> entire life. So a student went to the master and asked him to guide meditation. The master realized that this guy seems to be obsessed with anxiety management, anger management. So the mind is always, no, now I'm living in a stress, you know, I am in a hurry and worry. And so he said, there is a tree, go under the tree, sit under the tree. 
close your eyes and there is only one condition what is that condition there should not be a thought of monkey you may have any thought of anger anxiety duality conflict anything but only one thing promise me that you should not have a thought of monkey <laughs> so he said oh that's not a big deal i have never thought of a monkey <laughs> not a big deal you know this is the principle of what is desired and what is not desired so he closed his eyes sat under the tree and after some time after a few minutes his mind asked no everything is okay but why my master said that i should not have a thought of monkey thought of monkey has come <laughs> you see that thought of monkey has come yes another few minutes have passed okay because monkey is like a mind that is why my master told me that i should not have a thought of again the monkey thought has come this is what the lack of awareness is this is what we say in yoga is foolishness <laughs> anyhow so he continued for half an hour then the monkey as an image appeared before him even the eyes are closed a leaves fell from the tree and his mind thought it is the monkey <laughs> who moved the who moved the branches and that's why the leaves fell after an hour when he opened his eyes and approached to the master he did not see the physical image of the master he saw the monkey is there this is what happens in our day to day life have you never thought of it just just become aware say you you had some reaction against me the entire day your mind is thinking about this beard guy have you noticed think of it every day every 24 hours even when you are lying down on the bed i will teach that guy a lesson this is too much i should be aware when the thoughts are repetitive and these thoughts are taking me nowhere i must become aware this is not desired in thought speech and action this is the first thing we should do in the practice because if i am not clear in the intellect about what exactly is the practice then practice will not happen second uh, remember asu sadhana all the practices includes asu so abhyasa s means sadhana we have explained we have just understood and the second word we will understood second u means upaya upaya literally means upaya literally means tool step practice you use the car as a tool to reach your home drive home back home you use the smartphone as a tool to make a call receive a call so tool means we have to use it for some time and then we have to leave it that gives us an understanding that meditation and mindfulness is natural effortless we have to use these small tools and there are millions of tools in you know, the eastern western mantra is a tool breath is a tool mudra is a tool imagination is a tool so based on our nature temperament we have to use different tool we are using the same tool you know sarvesham swastir bhavatu so tool upaya means a device and a tool we have to use it for some time but why we have to use now understand it to 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 enter into meditative state no 
to prepare the mind, to purify the mind, to remove the garbage from the mind, so that we can reflect on meditative state. <clears throat> Two things. Remember, sadhana, upaya. Now, word, the alphabet A means abhyasa. So the Patanjali uses the word abhyasa. That includes both upaya and sadhana. What is desired, what is not desired. Ask yourself what is desired at this moment. Are you thinking of your agenda that you want to do after the meditation? Is it desired? So we need an extraordinary awareness. So when that is not desired, you drop in the mind, your body will not move. The body will remain aware, calm, attentive. The mind will remain attentive. Coming to? Abhyasa, literal meaning of the abhyasa is practice. But here, here the master says what is abhyasa veragya abhyam tannirodha abhyasa. So he says, if I translate into English, regular practice with wisdom, with dispassion or wisdom. He says wisdom must be there in any practice. Wisdom is lost, then what we do? <clears throat> I, I gave an example. Beautiful, girl, beautiful women in Princeton. I used to give sessions on meditation. So normally I have written my profile that, you know, I... Uh, 26 years with my master and 35, 36 years of experience. So she told me, I also have 26 years of experience. I said, I appreciate it. Plus 26 years of experience plus three surgeries of the spine to settle into meditation. Why to settle into, how to settle into meditation? Because I was doing all the difficult postures, uh, which I say advanced yoga, and that led me to three surgeries of the spine. Is yoga like this? But you cannot teach those people. I also have 26 years of experience. So that is why the wisdom is required. So the very soul of this meaning of this world is explained by Patanjali in the next sutra that I will take up next week. But here, what he says, the practice must be done under the wisdom, under the dispassion. So when there is a dispassion, now what happens? I have been doing all the difficult postures. I'm not against anything. I like, you know, whatever we, we, you are doing, very good. Why should I go against you? But he says, now if I'm constantly obsessed with the body, then I'm doing all the difficult postures, and that obsession will create a conflict in the mind whether I should leave the body in meditation or I should not leave. I should transcend the body. I should not. What will happen? You will never succeed in meditation. So the word he uses, what the word he uses? He says dispassion. What is dispassion? Dispassion comes by discernment. What is discernment? Discernment makes the intellect clear what is real and what is unreal. So how the discernment proceeds? By self-inquiry, by thinking, by contemplation, by reflection. If you do not think and your intellect does not accept what is real and what is not real, 
meditation will not succeed. This is one way to explain the word abhyasa. Abhyasa. So when we go deeper in the next session, so we'll understand what exactly is the soul of this word. Go back three words. Just remember ASU. Abhyasa, sadhana, and upaya. Upaya, sadhana. Be 100% clear what is desired and what is not desired. In my life, in meditation, in day-to-day -day life. You know, before the beginning of a session, I think I was explaining, never be attached. And don't encourage anyone to be attached. Have you seen those events in your day, in your life, at some point of time? We become angry, then we cry, then we say sorry, then we hug each other. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Have you seen that? It might have happened in everybody's life. <laughs> there the sadhana is required. No, I became angry because, you know, I love you. What kind of love this is? You made me upset. Attachment. <laughs> Sadhana. You will find that your mind becomes so light. The body, you feel the lightness in the body. The throughout the day. Totally carefree. So the second thing, you know, I, I always, sometimes I play with the, my... Not here, but sometime I play silently with the, uh, some students. I start appreciating them, and then I give them a shock. And then they start reacting against me. But they don't realize that they have not been able to progress into the practice. Into the practice. Sadhana. Understand clearly every moment in your life. What is desired? What is not desired? What is desired? What is not desired? Anxiety is desired? No. Reaction is desired? No. Should I encourage attachment? No. Should I move with attachment? No. Then how can I live my life? There is a better way to live your life. <laughs> there is a much better way to live your life. Do you see that? Otherwise, the same thing will happen. The monkey, 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 monkey. Sadhana means clarity, awareness, understanding, conviction that this is what is not desired, either in thought, in speech, in action. And upaya means we use different tools. Patanjali says, uh, according to the commentator, Vyasa, uh, there are six postures the Vyasa has given to succeed in meditation. We don't need more than six postures. And again, the six posture should be reduced to only one or two postures. Now I will give you one, uh, one uh, message from another master. I don't remember the text, but I remember the uh, statement. One asana, something like this. One asana perfects pranayama, one pranayama perfects one pratyahara, one pratyahara perfects one dharana, one, pratyah one pratyahara 
वन धारणा परफेक्ट वन मेडिटेशन A message, a hidden message, is there about the sadhana. But how can you measure? You can measure one asana, but how can you measure one pranayama? There is a way that we will understand deeply. So remember ASU, abhyasa, sadhana, and up, upaya. Last point, from today, whenever you enter into anxiety, fear, duality, conflict, upaya is the most important tool to introduce at that moment. The way I explained you, elephant enters into the water when there is a fire in the forest. Anger is fire, anxiety is fire, duality is fire. <laughs> Conflict is fire. Attachment is fire. What should I do? Om Namah mentally. Om Namah Shiva. Use the tool. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. At that very moment. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om. Or start counting the breath. Don't allow that that to be expressed. Don't start fighting with the fire. Go too far from the fire. What What does it mean? What is not desired? What is desired? We are using this as a tool in the upaya. So both sadhana and the upaya, now I are working together. And then comes the abhyasa that we will take up in our next uh, session. So start our journey. Eyes 